Hey, it's Greg from Scholar Farms, and I'm really excited today to talk to you about a new sensor from MicaSense up in Seattle. So currently I've been flying the Red Edge MX sensor. So this is a five band multi-spectral camera, and I've been flying it on the M200 series as well as the EB and some of these other platforms for vegetation mapping. So we've been getting red, blue, green for our standard RGB, as well as Red Edge and Near Infrared for looking at some of our vegetation indices. But MicaSense has announced a whole new setup and a whole new camera system um, for the Red Edge, and that is uh, going to be the Red Edge dual camera setup. So you can look here, there's a totally new camera on here. It's a blue uh, form factor here, blue aluminum. So let me tell you about this camera and how this whole setup is different and why you should be excited about it. Uh, particularly if you're interested in mapping vegetation like I am, um, this setup is a 10 band setup. So uh, in addition to the, RG, the five bands that we've been talking about for the Red Edge MX, we're getting five new bands. So we're getting a coastal blue band. We're getting a new green band. So we'll have two different green bands. We're getting a new red band. So we'll have two different red bands and then two new red edges. So 10 bands total. So why is that interesting? Well, that allows us to really align the data we're collecting on the drone with satellite data. So we can line it up with the bands that are on uh, satellites like Sentinel or Landsat. So this is interesting to remote sensing scientists in particular, because we can start nesting the drone imagery in with the satellite imagery and start comparing when do we need to use a satellite versus a drone and what higher resolution, what, what does higher resolution do for us? It also gives you 10 bands that's kind of like a hyperspectral light. Um, so you're getting a little bit closer to hyperspectral, but it allows us to do um, a lot more indices for vegetation uh, mapping as well as other environmental monitoring. So if you go to say the American Geophysical Union meeting, there's 25 different disciplines out there. Some people are mapping ice, some people are mapping aquatic systems, some people are mapping terrestrial systems and deserts. So all of that will be interesting for this particular sensor. Especially if you think about the coastal blue band, you can think about shallow water ecosystems uh, or some of the folks I talked to really want to map submerged or partially submerged vegetation or maybe even um, algal blooms, for example, which can cause major problems. You could then track those uh, with this particular setup. So nice 10 band setup, as well as the quick mounts from MicaSense. So you can just plug this directly into the Skyport on the M200 series, and you'll get direct power out. The triggering though would be then from the DLS2. This is the same DLS2 we've been using for the Red Edge. And so it will tag the available light coming down from the sun onto our imagery. And we can use that to calibrate the imagery then to get true radiometric reflectance values. So that, that whatever's bouncing off of the ice or the water or the plants that we're trying to map uh, will be radiometrically accurate. It'll be the precise amount of reflectance. And that's really important when you think about time series data and being precise on the data that you're capturing. So all of that still captured by the DLS2 as well as we can trigger externally through the GPS that's fully integrated. So price point, you're looking about roughly uh, twice the price for the two camera setups. And if you already are like me and you have a Red Edge MX, you could just purchase the camera kit as well as the Red Edge MX Blue separately for about the same price as the Red Edge. So you can just upgrade your camera systems and you get twice the number of bands because 10 bands are better than five. So I'm Greg with Scholar Farms and that's just a quick rundown on the new MicaSense dual cam setup. I'm excited to get out in the field and, and start looking at some of the imagery. And uh, as I bet the camera system and as I cool, pull out cool new patterns, um, then I'll keep you posted on it. So we'll talk to you again soon.